In the mid-1990s, The Muppets returned to TV with Muppets Tonight, a brand new variety show with an attempt to modernize The Muppets for a 90s audience. The show was hosted by Clifford, a character created in 1989 and performed by Kevin Clash, and most prominent characters in the series weren't the classic Muppet cast that we're used to. Instead, they were brand new characters made for the show, or more recently introduced characters being taken to new levels of prominence. While other characters like Kermit, Gonzo, Bunsen, and Beaker appeared quite frequently throughout the series, several characters, notably those performed by Frank Oz, are pretty absent throughout. Frank Oz was in the exclusive role of executive consultant, but his characters didn't appear too often throughout the series. Of the show's 24 episodes, Miss Piggy only appeared in 10, and Fozzie and Animal both only appeared in 7. Muppets Tonight is pretty disconnected from the original Muppet Show. Most of what it did was new, most of its major characters were new, and it didn't try to reboot or bring back any original Muppet Show sketches, except for one. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Muptown Funk. I'm your host Ty, and on today's episode of Muppet History Lesson, we're going to be breaking down Pigs in Space Deep Dish 9, the next generation of Pigs in Space. Pigs in Space needs no introduction, but I'm a pop culture history YouTuber, so I have to give one anyway. Airing in The Muppet Show starting in Season 2, Pigs in Space starred Captain Link Hogthrob, Dr. Julius Strangepork, and First Mate Miss Piggy on their adventures on the SS Swine Trek. A typical day on the Swine Trek may include the characters being hit by dangerous snacko waves and having their heads turned into foods, the characters switching bodies, or Miss Piggy being forced to do the laundry. Pigs in Space was a parody of classic space shows from the 60s and 70s, such as Star Trek, and it would often feature things going wrong on the Swine Trek that had to be fixed via some sort of mundane activity. Other episodes, meanwhile, got incredibly creative, doing really weird and out-there sci-fi things or playing with the structure of The Muppet Show, such as an episode where they're invaded by the cast of Veterinarian's Hospital. Like everything on The Muppet Show, Pigs in Space was always so creative and clever, and a big part of what made it so funny were not only the weird activities that were often just regular things that they had to accomplish, but also the character dynamics. Link, Strange Pork, and Piggy all had very defined personalities. Link, who seems to be a very confident and masculine figure, but is actually just kind of a dim-witted wimp. I want my mommy. Still think it's funny, bacon brain? No, we've got to get Dr. Strange Pork back. Strange Pork, who's the eccentric scientist, and Miss Piggy, who's always just had such a defined, strong personality. The dynamic between these three is incredibly solid, and they work so well off of each other, with Strange Pork and Link often trying to make Piggy the butt of the joke, only for her to snap back with some incredible comeback. We are losing altitude, <gasps> and we must lighten the weight of the rocket by throwing something overboard. Oh, and... And you want me to help you decide what? No. Oh? We've already decided what. What? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? After The Muppet Show ended, Star Trek would continue its lifespan in the form of movies and several sequel series, including Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. These Next Generation series would be the inspiration for Pigs in Space to return on Muppets Tonight with a brand new segment, Pigs in Space Deep Dish 9. Get it? Because pigs, food, Deep Space 9, you get the point, let's continue. The series took place on a brand new swine trek called the Swine Trek 2, spelt T-O-O, -O, which featured a more pig-like shape than the original swine trek and was just sort of a rough 1990s CGI model. For some reason, this to me never looked like a spaceship and always just looked like a sphinx. And it would feature a brand new cast. Instead of Captain Link Hogthrob, we had Captain PJ, spelt Pighead. 
the French-accented captain of the new swine track, performed by Steve Whitmire. Miss Piggy, no longer First Mate Piggy, now instead Commander Piggy, was the only original returning cast member in the sketch. And finally, there was Craniac, a little brain with a neck, who you may immediately realize uh, is in fact not a pig. Craniac was the alien scientist of the crew, and he was performed by Kevin Clash. The cast were all given brand new Pigs in Space uniforms, and the set of the Swine Trek 2 was pretty different than the original Swine Trek, although it still kept the three seats, control console, doors on either side, and window in the back. The first Deep Dish 9 segment appeared in Muppets Tonight Season 1 Episode 2, which guest starred Garth Brooks. In this segment, the crew is preparing to be invaded by an alien species, and they all prepare their battle stations. Uh, man your battle stations, quickly! Get out of my way, you fool! Well, that was an astounding waste of time. But in classic Pigs in Space fashion, the illusion of the pigs actually being in space is quickly broken, when the doors to the ship open up, and a bunch of miscellaneous Muppets that were trying to get on the show because they were promised they could perform with Garth Brooks, storm the swine trek instead. None of them know what's going on, although Miss Piggy tries her hardest to keep the sketch going. Chief among them is Bill the Bubble Guy. Bubbles come out of his head. And because of this, a slick film of bubble fluid ends up on the floor, causing everyone to slip. As the sketch closes out, Piggy is very frustrated that this is the joke they're going out on. We can't be going out on that cheap joke! Join us again next week... I guess we are! ...for another ill-conceived episode of Pigs in Space! Miss Piggy storms off after the sketch, complaining that Star Trek would never do something as unrealistic as being invaded by bubbles. But that's when she's corrected by none other than Leonard Nimoy, Spock himself. That's where you're wrong. I believe it was episode 12 where the Enterprise was invaded by an evil race of super intelligent bubbles. Guys, I, I'm not a Star Trek fan, so can someone in the comments please let me know if that's a legit episode? Because that sounds incredible. This is one thing I always loved about Muppets Tonight, by the way, that they would always allow for additional cameos in addition to just their guest stars, which we'll see again in the next segment. The next Deep Dish 9 segment appeared in Season 1, Episode 8, which guest starred Jason Alexander. And you'll immediately notice a change to the crew of the Swine Trek 2, as there's a new member, Snorty, portrayed by Dave Goals. Snorty isn't officially introduced, He's just there at the beginning of the sketch, as if he were always in the series. But, the Swine Trek 2 still only has three seats, which is kind of awkward, meaning that one crew member always has to stand up near the others. At the beginning of the sketch, we are properly introduced to another new character, a supercomputer called Al 1995 Plus Tax, which Piggy boasts is a very impressive supercomputer, she asks it to calculate what 2 plus 2 is, and it begins to take forever, even playing the Jeopardy music while it tries to calculate. I'm sorry, but by plus, did you mean make bigger? Oh, brother. After this, the crew gives up, and Miss Piggy warns them that they're about to be boarded by the dangerous Princess Vandella, who, she warns the crew, is absolutely hideous. She's hideous, fat, dumpy, and self-deluted. The sight of this monster princess is so grotesque, you may lose your appetite for food and drink. But the door opens to reveal that Princess Vandella is actually Swedish supermodel Vandella, who tells the crew to surrender and become her personal slaves, and she won't hurt them. Surrender peacefully, Earth face, and I'll make you my personal slave. All of the men on the crew immediately oblige and excitedly leave to become her personal slaves, leaving Miss Piggy alone on the ship with Hal, who finally finishes calculating the math problem. Four. What? Two plus two is four. <laughs> oh, now I'm warmed up. Give me another one. In season two, episode six of Muppets Tonight, Pigs in Space Deep Dish 9 returned. In this episode, 
the Swine Trek 2 now only has two chairs, one for Captain PJ and one for Craniac. I'm sorry that I keep focusing on the chairs, but this is really bothering me. It should also be noted that we don't see Al again this episode. I guess he was probably just supposed to be a one-time bit character. In this episode, we don't even see the part of the ship that he was stationed on. In this episode, a faulty circuit breaker causes the Swine Trek 2's artificial gravity to be all out of whack, causing all of the crew members to float. Except for Piggy, as it's a long-standing running gag that Piggy is, um, uh, well... Blockbuster, I happen to be big-boned! <laughs> PJ pushes Craniac down, and he fixes the circuit breaker, but they decide it was way too fun to float, so they go up and down again and again. And that's it. That's the final Pigs in Space Deep Dish 9 segment. Yeah, there were only three across the 24 episodes of Muppets Tonight. While this may seem like a bad thing, or make it seem like Deep Dish 9 is some obscure failure or something, that's simply how it was for Muppets Tonight. Most recurring sketches in the series only appeared two or three times. Muppets Tonight typically had a bit more focus on what was going on behind the scenes, and some later episodes don't even put the guest star's name in the title as it focuses on its own plot. In fact, later episodes of Muppets Tonight fully doubled down on the multiple guest stars appearing for different jokes, gags, and plot points thing that we saw significantly in two of the three Deep Dish Nine segments. While Deep Dish 9 only had three segments, there are actually a few pieces of supplementary material out there. Released in 1997 was a coloring book called Muppets Crazy Cosmic Christmas, and also released in 1997 was a storybook called Pigs in Space Journey to the Planet Za, where the crew of the Swine Trek 2 lands on a planet made of pizza. This shows to me that there was a bit of a push for Deep Dish 9, or else it wouldn't be featured in two books, right? Over time, though, like so much of what Muppets Tonight created, Pigs in Space Deep Dish 9 has become pretty forgotten. In the years following Muppets Tonight, and in just the modern era of the Muppets, Link Hogthrob and Julia Strangepork have made full comebacks with Link returning to his original role of a pretty frequently appearing supporting character, and Strange Pork just kind of being there when Pigs in Space is involved. Whenever anything regarding or referring to Pigs in Space is made nowadays, like the short-lived Pigs in Space YouTube series, or the Muppets Take the Bull in O2 sketches, they always use the original three cast members, and honestly, I don't mind. While I understand the want or the need to make a new generation cast, especially considering that Jim Henson had passed away a few years before Muppets Tonight came out, and thus they didn't really have a performer for Link. I feel like the new characters they created simply didn't have strong personalities, and the dynamic between the three, or I guess four of them when they added Snorty, just wasn't as strong as the original dynamic. Maybe if we'd gotten a bit more time with them and more segments, I'd be singing a completely different tune right now, but as it stands with what we have... I don't know, I think Deep Dish 9 was fine, but definitely doesn't hold a candle to the original. In more recent years, Captain PJ actually had a cameo in Muppets Most Wanted as a part of the wedding. He was, of course, on Miss Piggy's side. Just like how Spamala appeared here, I think PJ's inclusion was simply to fill the background out with as many pig Muppets as possible. Meanwhile, the Snorty Puppet has actually been repurposed into a new character, None other than the Muppets Miss Poogie. Yeah, if Snorty looked familiar to you at all, uh, you're welcome. The puppet is now actually being used as Miss Poogie, who made her first appearance as a rude knockoff of Miss Piggy in the 2011 Muppet movie and has consistently appeared afterwards. The repurposing of the Snorty puppet just sort of shows that they don't really have any plans with the Deep Dish 9 cast, and honestly... I don't really mind. It was fine for what it was, but in my opinion, you can't beat the original Pigs in Space. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about Deep Dish 9 in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.